Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a series review, thoughts on the series uh, for What a Wonderful World by Inio Asano. This is a two volume series. Um, it is a collection of short stories that all are kind of intertwined um, about kind of a mixture of things. It's growing up, but also like dealing with different emotions based on different uh, scenarios, I guess. I don't know. It's it's kind of about what the title says, like what a wonderful world we live in and trying to, uh, learning to appreciate the life that you were given. Um, it's quite dark. It's very depressing. If you've read anything by Inu Asano, you probably um, have a feel for how this story will make you feel. Um, I would liken this one specifically more towards uh, Solanin or Solanin um, rather than like A Girl on the Shore or Goodnight Poon Poon or something. Um, this one definitely feels more like Sol Solanin. Um, it does have a little bit of a supernatural element to it but it really fits with the story and I definitely wouldn't classify this as like a fantasy or supernatural anything. Um, it's more of a slice of life kind of exploration of who you are and appreciating the good things, the little things that are joyous in life. Um, it kind of follows various different people. There's a young student, there's a like elementary school age, there's some middle school students, some high school students, some adults, um, college age, kind of learning, trying to find their footing in society, trying to find their footing in this world and um, exploring what it means to be alive. Um, it was really good. It'll, it definitely deserves a reread or two. Like I'm going to need to reread this to really get to the nitty gritty of what this all was trying to say. Um, and especially since it is a bunch of short stories that are very loosely connected to each other, um, rereading it will definitely probably put the rest of the pieces together that I may have missed on the first read. Um, the art obviously is pretty great. I'm going to try and see if I can find, there's not a lot of explicit stuff in here really at all. Um, but just in case if I'm not remembering anything correctly here. Um, it is very much like Inio Asano-esque artwork here. Uh, I believe this one is a bit older. I don't remember when he wrote this, but um, this is definitely one of his older titles, I think. So the art isn't, like, I think Goodnight Poon Poon and, like, A Girl on the Shore and whatnot have much better artwork than this does. Um, but this was definitely very enjoyable. It's just two volumes. These are Viz Signature Editions. Um, yeah, they're, it's one I wanted to pick up for a while. The spines look really cool together. Um, they've got the, it's got the same kind of matte rubbery finish as Goodnight Poon Poon, and they, they have the, the French flaps as well. Um, oh, there's some nice artwork actually. But yeah, it's not a huge investment at two volumes. If you like Inu Asano, I definitely, definitely recommend this one. Um, and like I said, if you really like Solanin, then I'd definitely give this one a go. Um, Solanin is actually my least favorite of Inio Asana stuff that I've read. I liked this a bit better than Solanin. I found Solanin to be a bit slow. This one's definitely much faster paced because of the fact that it's short stories. So you really, like, you get invested, then the story's over, you're moving on to the next one. And then it all wraps it up and brings it together by the end, which is really nice um, and different because uh, it doesn't just follow one person. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely, definitely pick this up, especially if you like Inu Asano. Um, yeah, and if you're scared of, like, how explicit and disturbing, like, Goodnight Poon Poon and uh, A Girl on the Shore were, this one is not really like that at all. So, I mean, it's a safer bet for you if that's kind of what you're wanting to stay away from. Um, yeah, if you've read this title have any thoughts on it, definitely let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.